In this code sample we have three files. We have the index.php and we have add rotator and end rotator widget. This is index.php. Here we provide information about the plugin. Here we make sure that these two other PHP files are included. And here we indirectly invoke this static method register a rotator widget that indirectly calls this method and makes this widget available. The form method we define within the head rotator widget use a method defined in another class, a method that responsible for replacing the values in this template for each one of the um, options we make available for the WordPress user to customize. Here, calling these methods, method inherited from this class, we ensure that the ID each one of the options has both the ID and the name are unique. Here, in case the user has already placed a value, then that will be the value. And here, passing over to another method we defined within the other class, the replacement of those keys and values or let's be more precise of these texts takes place and the bottom line when we get to customizing the widget we get for each option a text field in which we can enter a new value. Let's save. Let's try to see the output. As you can see, Crembo Gogo. The, the outcome of the widget method is the output we see we see here where the widget is placed both args and instance are arrays we can access their values and use them when creating the output back to the screen <laughs>